As we go into the NHS strike and the ambulance are manned by soldiers and people are told not to have a stroke or a heart attack or to make their own way to A and E, Jacob Rees-Mogg has been on the telly saying that a lot of money is wasted in the NHS. He's quite right, a lot of money is wasted in the NHS, but it's wasted on bureaucracy and too much pen pushing. He cites £100,000 um, for a course on how to address a, a trans person or something. But uh, the, the, real, the real wastage, as pointed out in the programme, in which he was being interviewed was in things like the 10 billion pounds frittered away by the government on inadequate PPE uh, and exposing the fact that the government simply was not prepared for any sort of medical crisis. Fact. And now the government is wagging its finger at the NHS for some of the slightly more niche um, courses that it lays on for its staff. There's a lot to be said, there is a lot to be said for looking um, at the NHS and looking at any institution seeing what can be saved, what money can be saved, what money is being spent foolishly. But we should start looking in the NHS at the money being spent on bureaucrats and how much they're being paid and how effective they're being. If there is a strike of this magnitude, a series of strikes of this magnitude, then the bureaucrats, the management of the NHS, are simply not being effective. They are the ones who should be sacked. They should either be replaced or simply their job should be abandoned. We don't need so much management. We don't need so much paper pushing. And we certainly don't need to be paying these people a lot of work, a lot of money, a lot more money than the people who do the real work, the doctors, the nurses, the cleaners, the ambulance staff, the paramedics. If management cannot resolve problems, management cannot resolve these problems, otherwise we would not be having strikes. So therefore they are not worth the money we are paying them. Full stop. A management of the NHS is drawn from the same piddling um, group of people as a lot of the current members of the House of Commons. I'm really shocked by the lack of competence in management. The retreat to sloganising rather than solving problems, or rather than discussing problems. Politics is about discussion. It's not necessarily even about reaching a conclusion. A conclusion is something that happens while you have a discussion. We are not even having those discussions. I've been writing repeatedly to the DCMS, the Digital Culture, Media and Sports Ministry, and I can't get a meeting because they're not interested in the discussion. They're only interested in defending their sloganised position. And that position, in the case of the DCMS, was reached halfway through a committee hearing. The committee was truncated because of an election and never reconvened. And so the testimony which they heard was incomplete, biased, one-sided. It may, it may be uh, comfortable for them to get the result they wanted, but it's not right. It's not right. And the same issues can be, can be seen in the NHS, in the Home Office, all the way through government, in the, uh, even in Northern Ireland, where I think things looked for a short while to be better under Chris Heaton-Harris one of the few people in our current government who seems to have his head screwed on. But I despair. 
I genuinely despair. We need to start. Jacob Rees-Mogg was brought up in a decent school and a decent university. I mean, he was always a figure of fun. But now we have given the keys to the kingdom to a figure of fun. And he should have been listening. He should have learnt something. He should have learnt that his job, his only job, is to listen and digest. Instead, he thinks his job is to pontificate. He knows better than I, maybe, that the only person whose job is to pontificate sits in Rome. Enough.